what is up y'all welcome back to another episode of surfing the stream where every week we're on a quest to find out what is the greatest movie of all time i am at primo joined by josh primo what's up bitches this week before thanksgiving we are here to review a new movie that is out on netflix right now it just came out uh a week ago and you can check it out uh it is called the killer um like I said, brand new movie that just came out. It's been getting some pretty damn good reviews. Uh, so I was interested in in watching it, not only for just to have the review of a new movie, but also because of the top 10 the, that I'm preparing for uh, over the next several weeks. But before we jump into the review, uh, all the links below to our Patreon, to our merch, to all of our social media accounts, uh, that's where you can find all those links are down below. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that bullshit really helps us out. Uh, if you've been watching us, not subscribe to us, just go ahead and click that like that subscribe button because it, uh, like I said, it helps us out in the future, helps us grow this podcast. And also you get to uh, get the updates for the moments that we drop some brand new content. So what else more? What, what more could you ask for? Okay. But like I said, we're going to jump into these fast guys. We got two movies to review, uh, two separate episodes, two separate weeks. But me and Josh are reviewing back-to-back -back, uh, episodes right this minute. And I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and set the table right now. I am not in a good mood. And that is 100% going to affect the scores that I give. <laughs> like, I have, <laughs> I have scores, and I can almost guarantee I'm going to go down with said scores <laughs> over the course of these uh, these reviews. So uh, I don't know if that's fair, but you know what? Go fuck yourselves, right? Bitches. Bitches and hoes. So we're just going to fucking jump right into this motherfucker, man. The killer. After a fateful near miss, and by near miss, I mean, like, he completely missed him, so I don't know why they even put that in the fucking plot, but whatever. Uh, an assassin battles his employers and himself on an international manhunt he insists that isn't personal. This movie is directed by David Fincher, who has directed a lot of good movies. Seven, one of the probably top five best twists of all time in a movie. Uh, really, really great movie. Zodiac, love that movie. Uh, let's see, the girl, the dragon, the girl with the dragon tattoo. Never seen that one. Uh, we got the case, the curious case of Benjamin Button. Really love that movie, although it's it's kind of long. Uh, Fight Club. Then we have the Social Network, Gone Girl, which is really good. Uh, Alien Resurrection, or AKA Alien Three. Um, I've reviewed that movie on this channel before. And the less said about that movie, the better. But we're moving on. Uh, let's see here. I am ill-prepared as fucking always. So no rule, no budget, because it's Netflix. Um, it did get released in theaters for a little bit so far, and it's made $416,313. It was released November 10th of 2023. It stars Michael Fassbender, Tilda Swinton and Charles Parnell. Uh, and it has a runtime of one hour and 58 minutes. And just let me get my notes right here for a second. So this movie is based off the graphic novel called The Killer. Uh, David Fincher was considering numerous projects for his follow-up to Mank, which was his last movie. Uh, he met Michael Fassbender, and after several in-depth discussions about the, about the project, and seeing how committed he was to doing it, Fincher decided to make The Killer. Um, in fact, he tried getting Brad Pitt to be the killer uh, originally, or he originally thought of Brad Pitt as the killer, but it was too nihilistic for him is what it uh, ended up being. This is the second feature film in a four-year exclusive deal between David Fincher and Netflix, with the first film being Mank. I did not know that was on Netflix. I don't even know what it's about. So I couldn't tell you if it's uh, good or not. So a list of all the alias, all the aliases used by the killer. Um, there's a bunch of famous people, essentially. Uh, Felix Unger, Howard Cunningham, Sam Malone, George Jefferson, 
uh, Lou Grant, Ruben Kincaid, bunch of old people. Okay, bunch of old people. Uh, half these people I've never even fucking heard of, but that's neither here nor there. Um, all right, sir. Time to jump into our general impressions of the killer. First off, let's start off with our expectations, what you expected when going into this movie. And then we'll keep it a uh, non-spoiler for just a few minutes, and then we can jump into spoilers. I was excited about the movie, man. The, uh, I don't remember if it had a trailer or not, but I mean, the storyline sounded really good. And uh, I don't know, Netflix sometimes puts out some good movies. So I, I was excited. My expectations were kind of high. Uh, I honestly, I don't know what I, I don't know what I expected, honestly. Um, I knew that I really loved, you know, Benjamin Button, Seven, Zodiac, Gone Girl. Like those movies are really fucking good, especially uh, Zodiac and, uh, I say really, but they're all fucking good. Okay. So go fuck yourself. Um, uh, really great movies. So I kind of expected that. I, I kind of know what I'm going to get with David Fincher, which is kind of like a slow burn type of thriller, probably. And I was expecting some kind of twist at the very end. And uh, yeah, I, I, I don't. I was I was expecting it to be really really good, considering the reviews that came out. Uh, so that's kind of where my my expectations sat, sir. But non spoiler thoughts. What do you think? I already said what I think. No, like overall, what do you think? Uh, it's all right. Uh, I don't know. I felt like the antagonist wasn't developed properly in this movie. Uh, I, th I think it had a really good story, and I think it has really good promise. I enjoyed some of the acting. Uh, some of it was off on a few characters, but I don't know. The uh, It just lacked good antagonist. Uh, and I think that was the uh, Achilles heel of this movie. I would agree. I like this movie. I don't love it. Um, is this going to be in my top 10 at the end of the year? No. No. Um, is it worth watching? I think it is worth watching. Um, I think this is going to be one of those movies that people are going to have a lot of different opinions on it once they watch it. Um, like, I don't even know if... I don't even know who I would recommend this movie to. If you are a fan of the movies that I listed before, you know, fans fans of David Fincher, the actual director, that's kind of the tone and the style that you're going to be dealing with in this movie. And if you are a fan of that, then I think you should absolutely check this movie out. If you need action, 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 and whatnot, I, I don't know if you're going to find that in this movie. There's legitimately like one action sequence if you don't count the just him shooting some people but uh yeah i i would recommend it i think you could do a lot worse out there um but it left a little bit to be desired um like it don't love it and then like josh said i think they didn't really hammer down who the antagonist was or plural the antagonists and really develop those characters at all so now it's just him just going from point a to point b essentially and uh yeah it's, it's it's one of the biggest downfalls of the movie 100 but those are our non-spoiler thoughts now we're gonna jump into the spoiler discussion you have been warned all right sir i like it don't love it and honestly i <laughs> Other than the antagonist, this is one of those movies when you watch it, you're like, what did I not like about it? You know, like like you sit there kind of confused about what was really the thing that kind of turns you off on the movie. And that's kind of how I felt at the end of it. Like it kept my attention for the most part. I think it was a little it was a little slow. It was a little slow. Um I think the pacing is just, it needs to be fixed just a little bit. Um, but yeah, at the very end of it, I, I couldn't sit here and tell you, oh, this one, this thing, this thing, this thing, those are all huge issues with it, and I don't like the movie. And on the flip side of things, I can't really tell you why I like it either. It's like, there's stuff that happens in the movie, but there's like stuff that doesn't happen in the movie. Does that make sense? 
this guy just said there's stuff that happens in a movie and then there's stuff that doesn't happen i believe that's all movies <laughs> <laughs> like it, i don't know man it, it it felt like it felt like they didn't give me there's there's one scene in particular and it's the action sequence which the dude the dudes the two dudes fighting each other that's the most memorable scene to me but everything else and is it, just it's just okay that scene irritated me why because it looked like a comic book movie uh, it was too fucking dark, man. You give me what? one action sequence, and all I can see is fucking shadows hitting walls and shit. That that aggravates me. Let me see the fucking choreograph that you've created. Let me see the fucking action scene and not shadows. I I don't know if they did that because of CGI, you know, to to hide some imperfections or something like that. But bad idea, bad idea. Just let us let us see the shit, man. All right, just let me see it. Yeah, but I tell you, I had a big uh, chuckle because I all I could think about was on the Friday after next when uh, Chico <laughs> fed that dog that uh, the weed brownie. I that dude was feeding the dog hamburger. The, the the dude was feeding the dog hamburger meat with Benadryl, and uh, Chico got fed uh, marijuana brownies. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, All fuck right. you. Hey, moving on. <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> but um, here's the 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 biggest problem I have with this whole movie. You're lined up with two and the two people that give out the orders, right? The lawyer and the secretary. And then he hired two assassins and then the customer. And one of them he just has dinner with, and she's okay with it. She's like, eh, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I mean, that should have been something there, you know, some more meat and potatoes. And then it was just like, if this guy's an assassin, why the fuck would he be so irresponsible with what he does, you know, going to the casinos and shit like that and leaving his doors unlocked? And then you get to the customer at the end, you're expecting a final payoff, and the dude's like, so I don't have any problems? No, I'm good with you, man. <laughs> I'll be back if I need to be. <laughs> he, he sure it was like, like, we cool, bro? Like, f totally fucking didn't mean, no disrespect. To no disrespect. <laughs> didn't mean to fucking try to kill you, okay? <laughs> Big must understand. <laughs> and he's like, all right, man. That's yeah, cool. just, it felt lackluster, man, that's all. But I, I'm like you. I, I can't pinpoint why I don't like the movie. I don't not not like it, but I mean, it was fair to watch. I I'd probably watch it again, but it would be because I have a, I have a, I have the two movie watch rule, and I feel like this would definitely be a movie that I would have to watch twice. Gone Girl. When I saw that for the first time, it was one of those same cases where I'm like, I feel like I should like this more than I do. And I'm getting the same feeling with the killer. But I mean, I watched Gone Girl one more time and I really enjoy that movie. So my opinion changed. So maybe you would do the same with this one. Um, But I, I don't know, man. It's just, like I said, they, they don't do anything just absolutely amazing in this movie, but they also don't do anything just absolutely. That's a deal breaker for me. Other than the antagonist issues. Now, Michael Fassbender's acting in it is really, really good. I, I really enjoyed his 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 acting throughout the entire movie. Um, he definitely played he, he he played the character about as good as you can play it, I think. Um I agree. as far as but as far as like the individual scenes, they're just not memorable to me. And no, I don't no. know when you when, this this movie feels like a Hitman game. I don't know if you ever play those games. No, I never did play those. I, mean, I was like too Hitman. busy fucking bitches. You know, if I if I probably didn't have a huge like a long day, and I'd probably have a good comeback for that. But I'm just gonna let you have it. Son. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I've had a long day, and that's the best I could come up with so far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna let you have this one, man. Just gonna let you have it. Uh, Hell. 
uh, let's see here. Just some of the individual characters, like the Tilda Swinton at the very end or towards the end, they had a chance to make her a super interesting character and they just kind of squandered it. She's not that bad of an actress. She usually had like in her movie, she tends to be one of the more interesting characters. I don't know, man. They, they fucking wasted her in this one. I know that for sure. She sits down and she's like, I'm going to get a drink. You want a drink too? Let's talk. <laughs> and then the bitch falls down and she's like, help a lady up. And then he fucking just caps her. And I'm like, well, goddamn, man, that's fucked up. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I felt like her character had promise, man. Like, it would have been fucking awesome to see, like, some action sequences. Like, he has to chase her through town or something, you know? Something. Give me some action there, man. Yeah, fuck. I don't know. I, I, I do like... I don't know if you've know if you picked up on it. There is some I don't want to call it dark humor throughout, but there's some subtle nods to humor throughout the entire movie. And one of my favorite moments in the entire movie is when the lawyer he does the little nail gun to the lawyer's chest and the lawyer falls over and he's like, he should last six to seven minutes. And then the lawyer, the lawyer immediately dies. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and he yeah. goes, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> 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 it's like you—you you can just imagine him sitting in his state, uh, being in his head and being like, "Yeah, I, I definitely overcompensated for that." <laughs> yeah, you know, if they would have put the same care into, you know, showing him how he gets into the office and shit like that throughout the whole movie, I think it would have been better. Because I found that shit interesting, how he was sneaking in and how he was sneaking the body out and shit. You know, it was just... I think it was some missed opportunities for some suspense as well. Oh, yes. I, I really dug those moments. Like, he put him, puts him in the trash can and all that other bullshit. And it's almost kind of... It kind of almost has some, like, some tension there because you think someone's going to catch him or some shit. I wish they would have added that into the movie. Like, Hey, what you got in there? And he lifts the thing. Oh, fuck. And the dude's like, shit. Caps his ass. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, I mean, they had that one. <laughs> you got a dead body in there? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> there was that one guy. But yeah, the the movie's just missing something, man. It It, it misses. It misses that tension. I, I don't feel it the first time. Shout out. Um, but I'm curious to know if a second watch would would be beneficial for me, and maybe I would like the movie more. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. I really don't. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on doing a second watch. <laughs> this guy said, I, "It was good." Yeah. Not a second time, no. Well, let's not fucking press it. <laughs> What'd you think about the? Uh, I guess the audio design where. He puts his earbuds in and you hear the music like he's like it's in your ears. And then when it pulls away from him, it like lowers the volume. It seems like it's it's distant, like you're hearing from like like you can hear my earbuds that are in kind of thing. Did you notice that? I I found it an uh, interesting take. Uh, you know, I don't think I've ever seen it or heard that before. But. I don't know, I, I kind of liked the overlay of him thinking to himself. I, I remember texting you. I, did I text you? And I said, Oh, dude, we fucked up with this movie. <laughs> Cause the first, what, 20 minutes, it's literally just him monologuing and talking inside his head, him talking to himself. And I was like, is this going to be the whole fucking movie? Cause if it is, I don't know if I'm going to like this. And it does get better after about 20 minutes or so. Um, it kind of turns into a more air quotes here traditional movie, but he still talks to himself a lot, and I find that interesting, honestly. And I love how he's always like, uh, what does he always say? Um, Be smart, don't do anything stupid, shit like that. And he ends up doing something fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how you say uh, air quotes and then actually do air quotes. It's, well, I like that. You also got to think that there are audio listeners out there listening just to the audio, so they can't see me do it. 
Oh, what what was that? I couldn't hear you through the silence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you already said air quotes, so why did you have to do air quotes? Because then the people on the fucking uh they can see me do it. I'm giving the audio the audio yeah, and but, visuals. But the fucking people already know you're thinking air quotes. You don't have to sign to us. Hey, how about you just go fuck yourself? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> goddamn. Like, you're riding my dick about me fucking doing some uh, air quotes, man. Like, goddamn, you're off my dick. Yeah. Uh, it's always something, man. Motherfucker had farm animals last week. It's fucking <laughs> air quotations this week. <laughs> like, sweet fucking Jesus, man. I mean, everybody else has been fucking bum fucking me all day. Get in line, motherfucker. I don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, overall, I would say um, I'd say watch it. I'd say watch it. Um, not one of my favorite movies of the year. I probably will end up giving it a uh, a second watch before the end of the year, before I do my final top 10 episode. But as of right now, I'm going to feel dirty about fucking giving this, but I don't want my emotions to cloud my judgment here, and I'm going to give it a 3.5. We're pretty close. I gave it a three. I want to go three. I want to go three. Okay. Just, I just think know. three is a fair number. I, I think three. Yep. I'm going three. I'm going three. You talk me into it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's fair. I mean, it's missing a lot. Uh, you know, I feel like to get a four or a th- a th- higher than a three, then I would need to be able to be like, this is why I like the movie, bup, up, 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 and this is why I don't like it. Up, 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 up. That's like one of the most intelligent things you've ever said. Thank you. <laughs> Dick. I, know, <laughs> I know you meant that as a uh, negative, but I'm going to take it as a compliment. <laughs> I just don't give a damn. <laughs> but guys, if you have watched The Killer, let us know in the comments below what you think about the movie. Is this going to be in your top 10 when it's all said and done for 2023? Um, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that bullshit. Like I said, really helps us out. And uh, we're going to get ready to knock out the next review, which comes out uh, somewhere around Thanksgiving. So here we go. Uh, we appreciate y'all joining us for this review, and we'll catch y'all next time on another one. Laters. Later, bitches. <laughs>